Hey everybody, welcome back. The snowball effect, man, I tell you it's serious. Show you what we got going on so far. Pulled the dash. So one thing led to another, of course. And uh, I had to get the stereo out for some other upgrades. And to get the stereo out, you had to take the bezel off that went around the dash. Get that off, I had to drop the steering column. And to get the steering column out, I had to drop all the lower plastics that went underneath the dash. So one thing led to another. I figured, let's see how many bolts there are to take the dash out. There's seven more bolts and a few electrical plugs. So at least this will give me a good chance to thoroughly clean everything. Get all this nasty crap out of here. Give it a good thorough detail. So I'm going to vacuum all this stuff out. Spray it down with some... Uh, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner and then uh, steam clean everything get all this nastiness out of where underneath the dash was and clean up the dash really well so yeah a little update so I had to pull all that stuff off and I got some new bulbs for the dash and of course you know I had all the carpet out and I figured now would be a good time to put some sound deadener in so I got some kill mat like Bond has in his bug. Gonna put that down. And I figured now would be the time to run some uh, wires for the new speakers going in. And I figured, well, I got plenty of sound system stuff. So I got uh, an old kicker five channel amp I'm gonna put in it. Now's the time to run all the wires. So one thing led to another and had to pull the uh, had to pull that dash bezel out to get the stereo out. <laughs> and now we're here. So I'm going to get to cleaning on this thing, but figure I'd give everybody a little update. And I'll put you back on once this thing's all cleaned up. I almost forgot, so here's the headliner I pulled out of the truck. And uh, as you can see, it's a fiberglass molded headliner. And I got some gray uh, headliner material. See how flimsy that is? I, uh, the first time doing it, I kind of screwed up, so I had to go to the junkyard and get another headliner. I don't know if I can pull any of this back. I guess I can, but I'll show you here. So you see how there's this layer of fiberglass right here. Now I'll go show you on the other one. Here's the other one. I haven't covered it yet. This is the fabric, but you see how this fabric is foam backed. So on these headliners, you can see how there's a layer of fiberglass foam. Well, then there's another layer of fiberglass in the fabric. And uh, I started peeling the two apart, like right here. So I was sitting there and I was scraping all the foam off. I'm like, man, this backing material sure is flimsy. Well, that's because I split it into two, so there is no more structural integrity left like all the... The uh, headliner pockets, you know, they kind of flattened out, and I tried putting the other one in the truck, and it just was garbage. So, had to go get another one. This one's actually not in too bad a shape for black. I could throw it in if I wanted to be lazy, but I don't want to take a shortcut now. Like, there's a nice little tear right there, and oh, just some caca there, but anyways, that'll be the uh, the new headliner for the truck. So, I'll put you guys back on when I get that inside all cleaned up. Alright, here we are. What a difference. I ended up doing uh, door jams. Got them pretty clean. Probably the first time they were cleaned in uh, who knows how long, to be honest. Wipe down and uh, steam clean the floor again. But what a difference with the dash. And that's just with the uh, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. I think I diluted it like 8 to 1 or something like that. And I just used a 1-inch paintbrush, scrubbed it, and then uh, hit it with a rag. And then I went over it again with, with the steam cleaner. Even the wires, all those cleaned up really nice. What a difference. You should have seen all the caca that was back in here. It was nasty. We'll bring you to their side. Thank you again, Sylvie. That thing 
kicks ass. McCulloch or however you pronounce that. The rest of this truck needs to be cleaned too. Nasty. I right, pulled the seal back. Cleaned the seal. Got a little residue. Gotta wipe that again. Clean the pedals real quickly. All the little nooks and crannies. Clean that rubber up there. Vintag. Vents. Oh yeah, this thing's almost factory fresh. Shifter boots all cleaned up, so that thing right there is freaking awesome. So, uh, next time I pull the shifter out of this thing, start doing the uh, the sound deadening material, and then once the uh, sound deadening material is in, then I can put the carpet in. I actually might wait to do that actually, and I'll do the uh, clean up the dash. Get that cleaned up but wait till you see this this is the bottom piece off of the dash here's where your cigarette lighter is what the heck is up with that but yeah all this stuff nasty so i'm gonna have to clean all this up it's pretty much how the bottom of the dash was full of dust and probably some more mold spores oh yeah i'll show you the bottom of the uh instrument cluster stuff like that you can't you can't really see look at all that none of that would have been able to be cleaned unless I pulled it apart so it's a good thing that I did it was all meant to be everything happens for a reason so I'll do some more cleaning bring the dash out here and put it on a fold-up table or something and get to scrubbing away but my goodness what a difference very impressed even just that cleaner I'll show it to you works really well I've read some reviews it leaves uh, residue or whatever or uh, it can stain plastics I diluted it pretty well and um, I make sure to wipe it down before it dries and haven't had a problem yet. So I'll put you guys back on when some more progress is made. So here's the dash. Here's the bottom side of it. There was like an old uh, alarm system in this thing I already pulled out. Pulled out the extra wiring. That's a clip for uh, some wiring in the vehicle. Don't know what the hell it's for, but... And look at this. I wonder what that wire is for. Tapped up there, I can see a wire tap. I'll pull that off. But I already steamed all the uh, vents. There's a little bit of dust on there I'll clean up. Overall, it doesn't look bad. A few uh, nasty right there. And of course, a side where I couldn't really get. But it'll all be cleaned up now, which will be awesome. More nasty. This thing's sitting upside down right now. Overall, it doesn't look terrible. Not as bad as I thought it would. So I'm going to blow this thing off and then start cleaning. I'll bring it back when it's done. Alright, I figured I'll show you guys how I go about cleaning this while I'm doing it. Throw a little bit of cleaner on the brush. Scrub away. Pretty sure this was there to keep that alarm system from going off from the previous owner. I'll do the same to the top side of the dash. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Looks a little dark just looking at my phone. <clears throat> there we 
this rag's pretty damp from wiping down, but as you can see, what a difference. Comes right off. Okay. I'll get the steamer. Always has a little blast of water at first. Trying not to get the fuses wet, but see a little bit of dampness is going to get in there. It'll dry out before I put the uh, battery to it though, that's for sure. Alright. And the dry microfiber. When I flip it over I'll do the top side of course. But that's looking pretty damn good if you ask me. So I already cleaned up what I was going to clean down here. It's looking pretty uh, pretty nice. I blew it off. I'll have to blow again. Got that caca off of there. I already did this side, the bottom right here. So I'll go back, do some of these crevices in here. I already got there. Bottom of the dash that you'll never see, or the bottom of the uh, visor for the dash, which you'll never see, but I'm going to do it while I'm here. And then I'll flip this thing over. All right, the bottom of it's clean. Now, time to get all this dust and moldy crap. The stuff I guess I couldn't reach when I cleaned it out the first time. Like this shit. Nasty. Luckily there's not too many cracks in this dash. But what are you supposed to do? Get all that shit out of there. Alright, I'll put you down and get to cleaning out. like letting this stuff sit on too much because I don't want it to fade the gray. I already faded the uh, speaker grill. I don't know if you can see, kind of see it looking whitish where the speaker goes to the grill area. Eh, yeah, shit happens. Anyhow, I'm going to get to cleaning. Put you guys back on when it's done. Alright, here it is all cleaned up. I used this turtle wax dashing glass to go over it. Plastic started looking a little on the dry side. All this cleaned up really nice. Not too bad. A little stain there didn't want to come out, so I wasn't going to scrub on it too hard. But what a uh, what an improvement! I actually went down and wiped all this stuff down in here. Figure while I'm at it, might as well. So, that's done. On with the rest. Well, here's where we ended for the day. Got those few interior pieces cleaned. And got the lower part of the dash clean there. And this piece all cleaned up. Looking good. big improvement even though you're never gonna see the back side it's cleaned and man am I impressed still with uh, how this interior cleaned up steam cleaners awesome thank you again Sylvia all right everybody
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Until next time, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.